Are you ready for a new challenge? I am so excited about this because this challenge is all about manifesting money. Would you like to manifest some more money? Well, of course you would. Who is going to say no to free money? So I challenge you to manifest $1,000 within the next 30 days. Are you up for the challenge? If you're up for the challenge, comment I'm in in the comments below. And this worked so well for me when I did it. My husband and I decided to do this challenge at the same time within 30 days. And we both decided on different amounts that we wanted to manifest and we well exceeded the amount of money that we wanted to manifest and we manifested a combined total of $13,000 within 30 days. And it worked incredibly well and incredibly fast and I was so surprised at all of the different ways that the money came to me. I couldn't have predicted all of the different methods of delivery of that money and if you want to read more or watch the video where I explained exactly how we did it then you can go and check out nine ninja ways to manifest money and I'll link that in the description below and you might be wondering do you have to manifest exactly a thousand dollars can you manifest less or can you manifest more you can manifest whatever amount of money you want the reason why I declared this as a thousand dollar challenge is because a thousand dollars feels like a doable amount to most people. It feels like a good amount of money. It feels worthwhile putting the effort in for because when most people receive a thousand dollars, it usually feels like a lot of money, but it's not too much money that it feels unrealistic that it could never happen. Like if I told you we're going to manifest a million dollars within the next 30 days, you probably wouldn't even believe that that was going to happen, especially if you don't play the lottery. You'd probably think, well, there's no point in me even putting my effort into that challenge because it's not going to happen. So it does depend on your level of believability, what amount of money you choose. So I recommend you choose an amount of money to manifest that feels like yes it could really arrive in 30 days through some random means but it's not too much money that you're going to be just blocking it and you're just not going to believe it's going to happen. So how does the challenge work? The first thing you're going to do is you're going to decide what you're going to spend the money on and this is very important because I've said this in other videos but money isn't really something that most people want to manifest just to have more money because it's pretty meaningless. It doesn't enhance the quality of your life just because you've got more money. What enhances the quality of your life is what you spend the money on or how that money makes you feel. So we are going to decide what we're going to spend that money on. And when I say spend, that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to get rid of the money completely, as in go out and buy clothes and that kind of thing. If you are a saver, this is also spending money because if you put your money in the bank, you're actually spending your money. You are giving your money to the bank. It's no longer yours. It's not in your possession. It belongs to the bank and the bank can choose not to give you your money. So yes, it might be against the law, but companies go out of business and then you lose money. So it is a risk for you to give your money, to spend your money with the bank. So even putting money into a bank account is classed as spending money. So decide who you're going to give your money to basically, who you're going to spend your money with. Are you going to invest it, save it, spend it, pay bills, give it to someone else, give it to charity. The choice is completely yours. When I did this challenge, what did I choose? I chose moving expenses because I was moving house at the time. And yes, it's pretty boring, but we had a massive bill for moving expenses, estate agents, removal trucks moving from one country to another. It wasn't cheap. Paying for flights for the four of us to go and check out rental, deposits on rental houses, all that kind of stuff, it added up to a lot of money. So we needed an influx of cash. So there was something very specific that we wanted the money for. Once you've decided what you are going to spend the money on, then you are going to activate the manifestation. And I'll explain more about how to do this in more detail in a minute, but this is a general overview. So what you're going to do is you are going to create something called a reverse memory. A reverse memory is an imaginary scene in your imagination 
from the future as if it's already happened. So it's an event that you imagine that you replay in your mind as if it's already happened. When you replay it over and over again, then your subconscious mind will activate and the manifestation will come true in your physical reality. So we're going to create this scene and there's going to be two parts of this scene because we are trying to manifest money, but we are also trying to manifest spending that money on something particular because money needs to constantly circulate. That's how the world works. If we get money and we hide it under our mattresses then it just gets eaten away it doesn't benefit anyone or anyone the point of money is it just keeps on moving we need to keep the money going so manifesting money on its own doesn't work we have to decide what we're going to spend it on so the first part of the manifestation is we are going to create a memory where we are experiencing money raining down from the sky and this is going to be very very visual and it's going to be very easy for our subconscious mind to realize that we have received the money because we are going to in our imagination we're going to see it we're going to touch it we might even be able to smell it we're going to hear it crunkling as we grab the money so it's raining down and then we grab the money and we gather as much of the money as we can and we've got this big bundle of money we're carrying all this money and then we walk towards something where we're going to spend the money so you might walk into the bank and deposit the money in the bank or you might walk into a shop and spend the money there or you might walk towards a person's house and give them the money but you need to decide what this memory is going to feel like before you start creating this reverse memory in your imagination so you need to decide what you want to spend the money on and then you need to create a scene in your imagination where you are collecting the money and then walking with the bundle of money to spend the money. So now that you've done that, now that you've created your reverse memory, you've created the scene that you are going to use, how do we implement this? How do we activate the imagination? So during the next 30 days, there are two things that I want you to do every single day. The first thing that I want you to do is I want you to do some research on how you are going to spend the money. What I found from my own experience is those things that feel the realest are the things that manifest and how you make something feel real is it feels like it's just about to happen because what do you do before you spend some money is you usually research what you want to spend the money on. Maybe you're on Amazon, on the computer, on your favorite website, and you are looking at things. Maybe you're adding clothes to your basket. Maybe you're looking at a car that you want to buy. You are comparing costs of removal vans. You are comparing bank interest saving rates. Most people don't just go out and spend a thousand dollars without giving it some thought first how would you know which shop to even go into so you need to do a bit of research and if you are finding yourself delaying this and you just are putting it off and you think i can't be bothered to even research it then this is an indicator that you don't really want the thing that you are trying to manifest you don't want the money and you don't want the thing that you want to spend the money on you need to find something that you desperately want to spend the money on enough that you are willing to make the time to go and research spending the money. I've noticed this myself so many times. I think I want to manifest something, but then I can't be bothered to go and research it. So really, I didn't really want that thing enough. And then I'm wondering, why have I not manifested my millions yet that I'm trying to manifest that I keep writing down on the piece of paper? And that's because I don't really want that money. I don't really need it enough because I don't even know what I would go and spend that money on. So be real with yourself, be honest with yourself. Do you really want it enough to put the effort in? Because this is real life. We are actually receiving this money. This is not make-believe. We're not pretending. We're actually receiving money that we are going to physically spend in our physical reality. So you physically need to go and do the physical research so that you know where to go and spend the money. So that's the first thing. And the second thing is, is to replay that reverse memory in your imagination at least once a day. So spend between five to 10 minutes looping that scene over and over again in your imagination until it feels like a real memory. Now here's a few tips for you. 
Tip number one, don't go out and spend money that you don't have. You want to manifest the money first before you spend it. We don't need to act as if in order to get our manifestation. We manifest what we want first and then we utilize that manifestation. Getting yourself into debt is going to set you back. It's not going to help you believe that you can manifest more money if you are getting further and further into debt. Don't worry if things appear to be going backwards. Don't worry if you suddenly get a large bill or something else happens and your money seems to be going backwards. This has got no impact on future manifestations just because it feels like it's going backwards at the moment. Also, don't worry if you get to the end of the 30 days and your manifestation hasn't appeared. I have set so many deadlines where I haven't manifested what I wanted by the deadline that I imposed, but the manifestation did appear sometime in the future. So don't worry about it. It will happen when it's supposed to happen. It doesn't mean it's not coming. Deadlines don't really mean anything. The 30 days is more just a routine and a habit for you to get into to know that you are definitely going to receive your manifestation because you've created that memory that is definitely there. And once you've created that memory, it is going to appear. So keep the faith. Don't tell anyone it's not working. Don't ask why it's not working because this is you deciding it's not working. Once you decide it's not working, it's not working. That's overridden all your hard work. So keep the faith. Keep telling yourself it's working, it's working, it's working. Also, don't try and predict how the money is going to come to you. Like I said before, the money came to me in so many ways unexpected ways that I could never have imagined. I always thought money could only come via my business and most of the money did not come via sales or anything to do with my business. Also, do this challenge on your own and don't tell anyone close to you that you're doing the challenge. Although I did it with my husband, my husband is very supportive and very positive about these things and would never say, oh, it's not coming, it's not coming. So if you think that anybody's going to be skeptical in any way, don't tell them that you are doing the challenge. Do it with other like-minded people. And when you comment in the comments below, I'm in, you will see other people who have also accepted the challenge. You could comment on one of their comments and you could do the challenge together or you could join my community and find people who are into manifestation there as well. Now I'm going to share a couple of ways that you can enhance your money manifestation. If you are struggling to keep looping that reverse memory in your imagination over and over again because maybe you're getting distracted and other thoughts are coming into your head, then I suggest using something passive, a passive manifestation technique like a mind movie. And you are in luck because I have created the perfect mind movie for you and it's called Mind Movie Meditation. It's raining money. And this is going to really help you to imagine that it's raining money. All you need to do is add on the extra bit at the end where you go and spend the money. But this meditation will guide you through the process so that you are going to get less distracted because the voice is going to be in your ear and you're engaging three senses. So you're engaging your sight, watching the movie, you're engaging the sound and you're also probably engaging your touch. Maybe you're holding your phone and watching this at the same time. So it's very likely that you will get distracted when you are watching a mind movie. So I suggest going and doing this. I like to start my days with my movies. I find them very, very effective. Another thing you can do if you really want to manifest a lot of money is you can go and purchase my money manifestation mastery course. And this course is going to walk you through the process of manifesting money on tap when you need it and when you want it. And there'll be a link to that in the description below. So go and watch that mind movie now. And this video will appear at the end of this video. And I would love it if you could just like this video because that really helps this video to be found and it really helps more people to manifest money. And it's something that everybody needs at the moment. So you are doing a big service to me and to everybody else. And thank you so much for that. And now it's your turn to go and put your stamp on the world.